as a general rule we advise all our patients to sm stop smoking before at any plastic surgical procedure at least for a period of 4 to 6 weeks now we all know the reasons there is increased risk of any surgery not just plastic surgery there is delayed recovery from anesthesia specifically from plastic surgical point of view we also know that there is reduced blood, blood flow there is vasoconstriction and this reduction in blood flow can cause problems with our flaps with our grafts and all those things but a couple of things which we probably don't know in depth let us discuss those things so nicotine and carbon monoxide play a very important role here nicotine impairs the fibroblast function collagen synthesis and angiogenesis all of which are essential for proper wound healing carbon monoxide further reduces oxygen carrying capacity of the blood exacerbating tissue hypoxia and therefore our flaps are at an increased risk now especially of risk are those procedures where uh, there are thin flaps raised now unlike a general surgical condition say for example a appendicectomy we take an incision and directly go till the appendix whereas in plastic surgery for rhinoplasties for face lifts for abdominoplasties we tend to raise flaps these are at multiple levels and obviously vascularity is a bit compromised as compared to taking direct blunt straight incisions therefore smokers are at a higher risk of flap failure especially in these type of cases breast reconstructions face lifts so the compromised blood supply can result in complete or partial loss of flap apart from that smokers are also more prone to scarring including hypertrophic scars and keloids so the reduced oxygen supply impaired healing can lead to more noticeable scars uneven scars or even in some cases discolored scars there is increased skin aging in patients who tend to be chronic smokers therefore the skin is thinner the skin is less elastic and therefore since the quality inherent quality of the skin is already compromised this can negatively affect the cosmetic outcomes of our surgeries so these were the reasons why we should specifically advise our patients to stop smoking before any plastic surgical procedure